Hello everybody, it's Monovo here again and today it's a tip centric video of Battlefield Bad Company 2 so I hope you will enjoy and let's get started first let's start with a basic thing as you can see I spotted this tank and after that I will spot this enemy that can be very useful for you and also for teammates also don't revive when there is a lot of people around you. As you can see in this clip, don't blink while just dead when an LDA revive him. But there is three enemies around him. So he died. Also, as you can see in the chat box, don't blink, rogue, see my tent tag. Hmm? That means don't revive me, bro. Don't revive me, bro, or DRMB. Is a clan tag that show to your LDA don't be revived when there are a lot of people around you. In my opinion, it's pretty useful. Then, take your time when you're sniping. As you can see, I'm trying to kill this man. I missed one shot, but the second shot was the good. And look all the points I did. So, that can be very useful. So, take your time and remember that. One shot, one kill. As you can see in this clip, a guy waiting for a pilot. I enter in a chopper, and after that, he enter in it. So, if you are not good as a pilot, waiting for a teammate can be very useful for you, and also for your teammates. Also, you can use a C4 as the normal way to use it. But you can also drop from a helicopter, and drop some C4 or tank or people to try to kill them. As you can see in this clip, that can be very useful if you look all the points that you can do with it. If you do some montage, that can be very a good clip for your montage. You can also use rocket as no one way to use it, but you can also use the rocket in the air. As you can see in this clip, you can try to shoot this helicopter and finally hit him and destroy the helicopter. That can be very useful also, and again, that can be very cool for your montages. Also, you can use the defibrillator and the repair tool as a weapon. As you can see in this clip, I killed this guy with a defibrillator, and here I will kill this guy with a repair tool. That can be very useful if you don't have any ammo in your gun, and this is the only way to kill someone. Also, use smoke grenades to cover your teammates. As you can see in this clip, don't link cover the tank with smoke grenade so the LDS can pass to arm the station and also put some C4 on the tank. So that can be very useful for your teammates and also for you. After, take in mind that the trees are bulletproof. As you can see in this clip, it's not very cool when you try to shoot someone and doesn't die. <laughs> I can't hit him either. Yeah, bulletproof tree. What the hell? Wait, there we go. Also, there's two good tips for C4. As you can see in this clip, I put two C4s on this squad. And after that, I go to a tank and I explode it. It can be very useful for montages and also when the only option is this one. And the second one is to jump at the same time that you threw your C4. As you can see in this clip, I just threw my C4 and right after I jump. And as you can see, I can blow up this tank easily. Another tip in Battlefield Bad Campaign 2 is to wait 15 seconds after the 2M com station being destroyed and then go in a non-combat area you will see you will have more time to kill enemies or to arm m stations that can be very useful for your team and also for you then use the ripper tool for destroy an enemy tank as you can see in this clip this tank is almost destroyed and i finally blow up with my ripper tool that can be very useful the only option to destroy your tank also, there is other tips for Battlefield Bad Company 2. First, don't go alone at the MCOM station 
when there is only one empty station, you will certainly die. Then, keep tickets in mind, because in rush mode, when you die as an attacker, you lose tickets, so you reduce the score of your team. And finally, try to warm before you jump when you are full up. It will be cool for your LDS and also for you. And for finish, in Battlefield Bad Company 2, you need to remember one word, Team Work. So, thanks for watching, and please leave a thumbs up for the odd work. Also, thank you to Dongling that gave me two clips for my video. His channel is in the description. Thanks also to Mazdad that gave me one clip for this video. His channel is also in the description. And finally, thanks to Benito or 42 for two clips. His channel is also in the description. If you want to watch more of my videos and know more about me, visit my YouTube channel, my Twitter, or my website. All of these websites are in the descriptions.